Hey guys, Look Game Reviews here with another nightcap, where I come across a bunch of news stories, then select a few I find interesting, then I recap it for you in 10 minutes or less. And before I begin, can you let me know what you thought of that intro? That was the first time I am using that intro in my news story, and I would love feedback from all of you. Thanks, and let's begin with why you came here. So, are you sick of Xbox One and PS4 news? Well, I am sorry, but I have another story for you. What do you expect? They are about to launch with Sony this Friday and Microsoft's Xbox One on the following week on the 22nd. So with that said, let's get on with the news, shall we? Did you think that 500 gigs might be enough? Well, it might not be if rumors are true. <coughs> Caesar. Well, here, let me read this. Tall sizes for Xbox One launch titles have been revealed after a consumer managed to get a hold of a console earlier thanks to a shipping error by Target, according to Moonlight Swami via NeoGAP. All games will require between 246 megabytes and 43 gigabytes of storage space to install. This isn't in reference to digital downloads either. All Xbox One titles will require an install. Seeing as the Xbox One comes with an internal hard drive size of 500 gigabytes, it looks like you'll need to get another, into the habit of deleting old games once you're done with them, at least until the promised external hard drive support is added. It goes on to listing 19 games and the size of the install, and remember, this is not digital download, and they are the install size he's reporting are as follows. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, 20 gigabytes. Battlefield 4, 33 gigabytes. Call of Duty Ghosts, 39 gigabytes. Dead Rising 3, 19 gigabytes. FIFA 14, 8 gigabytes. Fighter Within, 9.2 gigabytes. Forza Motorsport 5, 31 gigabytes. Just at Dance, 2014, 22GB, Killer Instinct, 3.4GB, Local Cycle, 13GB, Madden NFL, 25, 12GB, NBA 2K14, 43GB, NBA Live 14, 9GB, Power Star Golf, 3.9GB, Rise Son of Rome, 34GB, Skylander Swap Force, 15 gigabyte Xbox Fitness 246 megabyte Zoo Tycoon 2.6 gigabyte and finally Zumba World Party 24 gigabyte. Some games can apparently be played midway through the install process, and as you expect, installation is fairly speedy. So, for someone who will be getting all digital downloads. I am kind of worried for all those poor parents who do not realize that poor Timmy just made a big thousand dollar dent in the pocketbook because they didn't realize they are going over their limit by getting all the little Timmy's games via the Xbox network and don't realize they have a limit of how many gigs they are allowed. Yes, I know, I know you might say, but wait. Companies normally give about 100 gigs a month for internet, and yes, they do, but then Timmy might want to live stream all those games via Twitch, because now the Xbox One can do that, and there lies the problem. Bigger games plus live streaming equals mom and dad getting rid of the Xbox One. Well, I guess that is not a problem for a person looking for a lightly used Xbox One. Just remember, upgrade to Unlimited for an extra $10 if your ISB allows it. Also in news, you guessed it, PlayStation 4. No shit, you might say. Well, again, I apologize. But anyways, yes, Sony also revealed that the PlayStation 4 will also have a mandatory game installation. I'm sure you saw that coming. Anyways, here, let me read this. Call it installation or call it caching, but the bottom line is that you will have to save large chunks of PlayStation 4 games to the system's hard drive. It's not an option, it's mandatory on Sony's next-gen system.
Today at a stylish waterfront hotel in New York City that's been taken over by Sony for all things PS4. The system lead architect, Mark Kearney, explained just how these requirements work. If you are playing a disc-based game, this system will begin caching the disc when you put it in the console and get ready to play. The game is saving part of itself to the system's hard drive. The amount of data that has to be saved before you can start with vary per title. Kearney said that for a launch game, he directed Knack, users should only have to wait 10 seconds to play the game. After that, as you play, the game will stream more content to the console's 500 gig hard drive. Knack will use 37 gig of space overall as noted on the game's box. Obviously, it won't take many games to fill the console's hard drive. Cached install game data will stay on the hard drive until the user deletes it. Kearney said that there has been some internal discussions at Sony about having the PS4 auto-delete installed data from games that players haven't used in a while. They decided against it, stating that gamers would never want to be blindsided and would prefer to make their data management decisions manually. Probably a good choice. The disc installation required on the PS4 because the console is not designed to read game off discs. It's not a PlayStation issue. It's a physics issue. The machine may have a Blu-ray drive that's about three times faster than the PS3 but, and about six times as much memory, but it's still more expedient for it to read data from its own hard drive. So here you have it, both Xbox and PlayStation will have mandatory install. And like I said for the Xbox camp, I will say for the PS camp, moms and dads, if you're watching this, please upgrade to unlimited download if you're in an area that has a cap. It's not going to be as bad if you don't do that. And holy crap am I worried. I'm getting a few digital, digital downloads and how long am I going to have to wait? And how full will my hard drive be? Well, I'll keep you posted on that. Also, links of where I got the two stories will be down below in the description. So, tell me what you think. Are you getting the Xbox One or the PS4? Or are you going to wait to see if either get the Red Ring of Death 2.0, of course. Maybe they'll make it green. Maybe they'll have blue. Who knows? It'll be blue Kool-Aid. Who knows? But will it happen? Are you waiting for that? Let me know with the comment. And anyways, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave that message like I just said. And thanks for taking your time to be Nightcap. And as always, be kind to one another unless it's in a game. Then give them hell!